I wish you health, fellow Ukrainians. Once again, I extend my Christmas greetings to everyone. And right now, on this Christmas evening, it is important to speak about many of our people who are on duty at combat posts in battle, defending our state and people at any time of day and night, on holidays and ordinary days. Yesterday, on Christmas Eve, our warriors shot down nearly 30 Shahed drones, several missiles, and two more rifles. Russian military aircraft, all in one evening. In total, five Su aircraft were shot down in the week before Christmas. And this is really impressive. Well done to everyone delivering such results in the ranks of our Air Force, all our anti-aircraft gunners, warriors of mobile firing groups and air defense units of the ground forces. Thank you. Every Russian pilot must make a clear choice whether to continue participating in this war. Our air defense will become increasingly powerful, especially when we receive additional systems that have already been agreed upon, including F-16s. Today I want to thank everyone in the entire large team of the State Emergency Service of Ukraine. Everyone who is still, as always, eliminating the consequences of Russian shelling these days, evenings and nights. Kherson Donetsk, Kharkiv, our Sumy region, our Zaporizhia, our other regions. I would like to particularly mention the guys from Kherson region, Sergeant Oleg Pankratov and Master Sergeant Maxim Sedin, and from Donetsk region, Sergeant Alexander Pavlenko, Chief Master Sergeant Denis Shishuluk, and civilian employee of the State Emergency Service Volodymyr Yatsenko. Next, Kharkiv region, Sergeant Roman Pivovarov and Master Sergeant Pavlenko. Krivula, Sumer region, Sergeants Alexander Kozer and Evgeny Bondarenko, who are working in the border areas, displaying absolute selflessness. I am thankful to you guys and all your colleagues. Similarly, I would like to express my gratitude today to the entire staff of the National Police of Ukraine, those working for the safety of people, in particular in the frontline areas. I would like to particularly mention police senior lieutenants. Ivan Zelenyak and Dmitro Teteria, serving in Kherson region in the city of Bereslav. Also, Andriy Bulavin, a combat medic working in Donetsk region. The Parisian region, police majors Andriy Melnik and Vadim Aksionenko. I thank you and all those who serve our country and our society. And of course, today it is only right to thank every employee of the Ukrainian energy sector. All those who are at work right now, all those who have been working all year long to prevent blackouts and ensure that everywhere in Ukraine there is communication, electricity, heating and all the things without which normal life is simply impossible. I thank you, our power engineers. Thank you for the bright Christmas and please, if you haven't done so yet, get in touch with your loved ones or those you just know who are in the defense forces now and thank them. Strength gives Ukraine life. The strength of everyone who fights for Ukraine, the strength of all who work for Ukraine, the strength of our people. Let's strengthen Ukraine together. Glory to Ukraine!